If you've ever lost something precious, you'll appreciate tonight's final story. Here's Steve Hartman on the road. Are so sticky. Whoever coined the phrase military brat Let's get a paper towel. obviously never met the angelic daughter of Army Staff Sergeant Nicholas Pogham Here. and his wife Jen. Mackenzie is three, and if you look closely at pictures of her over the years, you'll notice something. That giraffe, which she calls Raffy, is in almost every shot. I guess they call it like a lovey. She always wants to go to bed with it. When she's sick, she wants it. It's like her friend. The way that she acts with it is like it's her friend. Jen says this friend has been Mackenzie's constant through their many moves and has been especially comforting during Nick's deployments. When he's gone for weeks and months at a time, she still has this one thing. Had this one thing. Yeah, sorry. It got lost during their most recent move. Raffi is her, her lifeline. It's, it's one of the only things that she has all the time. I understand. To some, this may seem like much ado about nothing. But losing a lovey can feel Raffy. like a very big deal. Where are you, Raffy? As this home video shows, Mackenzie first noticed Raffy was missing right before their move from Washington State to Pennsylvania. I'm going to take him to Pennsylvania. Her parents assumed he was in a box somewhere. Not yet. But for 11 long days, Mackenzie had to live without her soulmate. Until finally, at the very end of their unpacking. As soon as Jen found it, she cut open the box. And I was like, you know what? Let me record yeah, this we reaction. Have, we have to get this. <laughs> they hid Raffi in the refrigerator and told Mackenzie to get a drink. As you would expect, she was delighted to be reunited. <laughs> what is it? But in this moment, Mackenzie made another, even more surprising discovery. <laughs> that a very strange thing happens when you're really, really happy. Choo-choo! my Oh, because you're happy! He's back now! <laughs> In all of her life, she'd never been so happy that she cried. He's I back, too. It's got to feel weird the first time. But surrendering to this quirky human trait can be one of life's greatest joys, as I'm sure some of you at home can now attest. Steve Hartman on the road in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. <laughs> And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. We want to wish a happy first anniversary to our digital network, CBSN. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, I'm Scott Pelley, and I'll see you Sunday at 60 Minutes. Good night.